And look at the breaks in this tree. Look. Curved all the way down. There's no wind doing this crap. They got trees bent down different directions. You can see the arch. Something is taking these trees and arching them over, bending them over. Look at these, this, look at this pine tree bent over. Pine trees don't usually bend like this. Something has been, it's a freaking playground for Bigfoot, I'm telling you. This is crazy. I'm gonna show you the other tree that's broken. There's one here, you can see the break. I mean, just something had to have a lot of force. This is, I'm standing on a log right now, and I'm 6'3". And this has to be at least seven and a half, eight foot tall, where this break is at. These are old, I hear something walking. These are old logs that are really old that are broken over. There's, there's limbs and, and broken logs all back here. Something broke this thing clean off. As you can see, there's limbs laying all over the place. There's a thicket right there. It looks like something's been laying up in it. I'm gonna cross on over. This is a playground, I'm telling you. And this is next to the highway between my old, there's an old chicken coop beside my house. And, um, there, there's, an, there's a house over here that has it's two story. It's abandoned, and I'm fixing to show that to you guys. That I think they're laying in at nighttime. They're laying either in that house at night, Bigfoot, and, or they're laying in that chicken coop, as you can see behind me. That's when it's raining or bad storms. That's where they go to. Where's the other, where's that other, uh, there is a different one, I can't find it. Another tree that's bent over. Uh, spider webs in the way. But just look. <clears throat> All bent over. Arched. You see, that's not going to happen unless something is pulling this limb down. I mean, this tree down. It's not normal. A lot of people sitting there. There's another one right here. Watch. A lot of people sit there and say this is normal. That's not normal. There's another one bent over. You see? Branch is stuck and broke off in the top. And I can't find the spot we were in the other night. There is another tree out here that I showed on a picture the other night. And I can't find it. It's a different tree. It's not the same tree. But we're going to walk a little bit further. I'll show you the house. <clears throat> Real thick through here, snaky. Watch out on these these uh, logs, Luke. Step way over. Look, there's a footprint right here. Looks like something heavy. Right up in there. 
It might have been us deal and that, I'm not sure. We're almost there. If I can get to these. And that's the old abandoned home. You hear that? I hear something. What is that? As you can see, it's got a roof, it's two story. It's got a up, a top section. One day I found one of my dogs on, on the top floor. I don't even know how he got up there. Something chased him up there. He was in the corner, scared to death. <clears throat> Watch out for snakes, Luke, because they're out. Across this little fence here. Sunglasses came off my head. My dog was looking out at that top window up there, looking down, whining and barking at the same time. For some reason, it would not come down the stairs. Got a big spider web here. This place is old, smelly, moldy, old refrigerator, it's old saw. Watch out for snakes because they can uh, lay underneath this wood right now. You wouldn't even know it. I'm going to show you. See, they could be laying in here at night. When it's raining for cover, the old penny on the floor. <clears throat> I'll show you the top floor. Give me the flashlight, Luke. Hold the machete. We don't fall into the floor. See, this is where I found my dog right here, looking out the window on the opposite side of this hole. Back window's knocked out. There's a hole back there. I've never even been back there. I'm afraid to walk through there because it's got holes through there. And the wood is pretty weak. Not very strong. I weigh 190 pounds, so I don't know if it would hold me or not. Anyway. This is what it looks like. Who knows what kind of creature could be coming up here at night, laying around. Animals. Oh shit, almost fell through the floor. I'm right, coming back down. Damn it. That nail poked me in the head. Alright. Come back out.
turn the lantern off now. Where's the machete at? Let's go back this way where we came from. Keep your eyes on the ground, Luke. Got snakes. Could be snakes all over. Cool day, it's not too hot, so they might be out. Especially in the evening. That's one thing I hate is damn snakes. Really, bro? <laughs> you don't like your picture taking loot? <laughs> I got a spider on my screen. Last picture I'm gonna show you. You all know what the chicken coop looks like inside. They could be laying in there easily at night. Let's go, Luke. Cross over here. I think we'll go this way. It's kind of hard to record and watch where you're going. When you jump over the logs, look, jump over far. See, this is a trail. There's a trail, I can't remember where it's at, but deer run right through here at night. You could hear them running through there late at night. My wife's even seen them before. Looks like some, something's rutting up. I don't know if the deer is doing that or what. Some kind of animal. Another hole. And if you notice that tree though, the limbs on it, I mean the uh, leaves on it were fresh. Not old at all. This is chicken coop here. You can see they have plenty of protection from the weather if they want to lay up at night. I didn't build this. This this was here before I even moved here. But anyway, anything can lay up here at night. It's got some old bob wire back up in there. And, uh, Right behind here, there's two ponds. There's a trail back there, and then there's um, a creek that goes back there about, I say, a quarter mile or less. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.